Item number 12 is to continue this continue discussion of guidelines and procedures for enforcing the state noise ordinance and possibly developing a noise ordinance for the city. I did some research and uh, just right now I haven't found anything that, that allows us to uh, extend the 85 decibels. Um, but it does, a lot of places do carry a little past 10 or 11, <coughs> even to 1 o'clock. May I say something? There's also some, um, having researched it also, uh, there's also different vari variations of where the measurement is taken. Currently, they're coming and standing, I mean, right at the fence line. And I know that several different cities that were having problems like this, to the ordinances that they put into place, that the measurement was taken either at least 100 feet from the property line, or some of them even have it from the complainant property to where the person was coming from the sound. So that's something else that may be considered. 85 decibels, that, you know, that's fine, that's the state, and all of them are set by that. But they do, um, they do vary in the times that they're set from, be it 11 or midnight, and or where they're taken from. And who sets that? Was that uh, ordered set by the city? Yeah, the city's decided, and, and the several different ones. And they're city similar in size. I mean, Port Aransas is similar in size, but it is more tourist-based than we are, but it's also you know, primarily tourism there. And that's what they were looking at was um, where to where the measurements were taken and setting the time. Um, theirs go currently from, it's 85 decimals, you know, from 5 a.m. till 12 midnight. And then 65 from anything after that, you know, midnight till back to 5 a.m. again. Um, they also were looking at possible, uh, you know, different zoning at different places being the downtown area or the, but that's just another hassle there. And I think our main concern though too is, is because the residents who complained, the residents were there mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. and, then, and then you came in and mm -hmm. then you put your businesses in. We're, we're glad you have your businesses, don't get me wrong, but I think that's part of our problem too is you knew going in um, that these residents were there. Right, but it's also right. partially zoned. Right, so it's just, mm -hmm. that's just kind of part of our problems, too, mm -hmm. so. One of, one of my issues with, as far as uh, the complainants is, uh, if it's such an issue with them, why would they ever at the council mm -hmm. meetings? I don't understand that. I mean, if, if, it's, if it's that big of an issue, why aren't they here to, to defend? Uh, well, I don't want to put you on the spot, but Xander, <laughs> do, you, do you ever hear, I know where you live, mm -hmm. does the music bother you from there? Doesn't? But with which music are you talk about this? I'm talking about well, it's Storybook. She's no, right here on the corner. We never hear anything from Storybook or any of the businesses down here. No, the only thing we hear noise from is Oakdale Park across the river. Oakdale Park across the river. Where is that? Where is that? Uh, what, what's over there? I know occasionally people are having I've heard parties it. over there. I don't know who it is. Anything of that nature. It's, I've heard really, it's a one night type affair. It's okay. gone. Uh, like I say, a big share of the noise that we actually hear is actually coming from people down at that big rocks. All right. Yeah, I've heard that before, but I haven't really acted on it to see where it was coming from. So we can look, let me look into that. Let me put you on the spot. <laughs> well, Granberries, it seems pretty reasonable, pretty well written as far as for their ordinance. Times. Specificity of where you take it and everything. This what was in our documents last time. Last right. Time around, just grab it out of and it just it just seems like it's pretty pretty easy, but easy when you read through it to understand it. It yeah. seems like it seems like nothing else we could take it in, and just boilerplate one in, so we have something to go by, and then revise it as as need be. Well, I think there could be a, an issue of where the reading, where they're doing the reading. If they're going up to the, her, the property line, it's naturally going to read higher. But it, is there some kind of ordinance about where you do the reading? But that, that's what they said. I mean, that would be, there are, it varies. Different, varies. different communities have different places where they do it from, from what so, I have found. So cities. Mm -hmm. Put an ordinance yes. in for that. Story, where'd you say they're doing it right now? Um, they're standing at the fence. 
Um, I moved to my state again because when my state was right there, there was no way. You know, your average restaurant with your clinking spoons and people varies between 65 and 70 on an average day. So if they're standing next to my, you know, fence or the other business that had one also, which doesn't currently, but there's no way possible that you could be, you know, below 85 for sure. So we moved ours and then it is possible. Um, not, you know, depending on, on the equipment and stuff like that, but they're standing at the fence line um, of my property, in my courtyard, basically. Um, and is that something, though, too, we need to talk with the Sheriff's Department committee on that to make sure, I mean, since they're the ones who have been doing that, I don't believe Buck has done that, correct? Well, I don't think that. We can discuss it with them, but right now it's their purview. Right. But, and of course they can't enforce city ordinances. And you no know, practically speaking, you know, our code enforcement officers won't be on duty right. for the most part when these events happen. And it would, either the city officer will be on duty or not. Well just a consideration. But the city the city currently has no ordinance, so the county, if there was an on-duty officer, the county would step in and go by state guidelines. Correct? But they could take into consideration the city ordinance, but if it was a violation of the ordinance, the deputies couldn't issue a citation for the violation. I see. Hello. I think this is probably something we'll have to discuss with the Sheriff's Department, because on the business's defense, I know I was there one night, and I metered it all night, and it never rose above 85, but yet there was law enforcement that was called three separate times, and I was standing at the back gate metering. So, I mean, I think that might be just something <coughs> we're going to have to really talk to the Sheriff's Department about and work with both parties, obviously the business and obviously the people who are there and making sure they're not disturbed the best that we, way we can. I mean, we don't want to upset anybody, but we want to do what's right for the people and the businesses of this town. I mean, so we're going to have to find a, a point to work together.